Okay, hello and welcome. Um, we're just going to give a few minutes just to let a few more people log on. We've already got quite a few so far, which is great. Um, so let's just give it a couple more minutes and then we will kick into today's webinar. That's great, we've got loads of people joining today. Fantastic. Okay, let me give it another, another 30 seconds to a minute. Welcome, welcome. Okay, right. Well, I think we might get started. What do you think, ladies? Yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. Well, look, again, really appreciate everyone coming along today to our um, third installment of our recruitment webinar series. And today we are delighted to bring you Assess. So Danielle and Daniela will be taking us through the foundations of assessing candidates um, and how you can utilize specific tools um, to support you to do so within your recruitment stream. So um, as many of you know, um, several years ago, we embarked on a journey to develop a pre-integrated platform to enable our customers to create the recruitment ecosystem of their dreams or their desires, um, and which obviously led to the um, launch of um, Snapfire Marketplace. So um, again, a lot of you will be familiar with this. Um, it is that apps tab in Snapfire where you will find a host of um, pre-integrated um, apps that you can basically utilize within your recruitment and um, recruitment stream. So today we're gonna to be focusing on those ones as well that um, target that um, assessing the candidates um, part of your recruitment stream. So um, again, I'll just do a little brief introduction to myself. And um, for all, those of you who don't know me, I'm Melissa. I'm the, one of the client relationship managers for AATEL, recently returned from maternity leave. So I may have not seen a lot of you um, for a while. Um, and for anyone um, that's obviously joined while I've been away, um, hello and nice to virtually meet you. Um, so I'm gonna hand you over to um, the Dannys. If you've been joining our web series, you will um, be quite familiar with both at this stage. Um, but like, I really appreciate everyone coming along today. Um, I'm really excited um, to get into this um, topic as well with you. Cool, over to you guys. Cool, thanks Mel. So hi everyone, uh, as Mel said, thank you for taking the time to attend our third webinar out of the series of webinars we're hosting over this period. Um, as Mel mentioned, again, today's webinar is all about assessing candidates. So if you do enjoy the session today and you are interested in joining our other webinars, because we do have a couple left, please go to the AHL website and, web and register. And if there is a webinar that you have missed that you are interested in, um, again, we are recording the webinars for future use. So Airtel does have two main products that we will be discussing today, SnapHire and our SnapHire Marketplace, which is powered by the Talent App Store. So this is a rough overview of today's agenda. I'll run through this quite quickly because um, I don't want to spend too much time on this if many of you have been to our previous webinars. So we will be discussing why it's important to assess candidates, assessing candidates through SnapHire and assessing candidates through our Marketplace. Before we finish the webinar, we will make sure to give you a clear outline of the next steps should you be interested in finding out more information or making changes to your site. And finally, we'll go through any questions you have at the end. So as I just mentioned, we'll be focusing on assessing candidates. You can assess candidates through our world-class applicant tracking system and use the latest HR technologies to evaluate who is best fit so you can hire, ultimately hire the best person for the role that you are recruiting for. So why is it important to assess candidates? First of all, it's because of culture. Uh, it's not only important to make sure that candidate skills ma match the job description, it is important to analyze whether they would fit into the team as well. So aligned behavior and ethics are crucial to organizational uh, benefits, including retention, motivation, and productivity. And an example is an organization's culture may be focused around, say, collaborativeness or and someone who works individually may not necessarily be the best cultural fit for the organization or the role at hand. And businesses nowadays are actually placing a higher importance on hiring a candidate who is a good cultural fit. Um, and ultimately, if teams have the same sort of, let's say, core values, it promotes cohesion and teams tend to function more positively compared to a team with disjointed priorities. Another reason it is important to assess candidates is to ensure that the skills of the candidate matches the job description. 
Hard skills relate to measurable skills. So for example, these could be say uh, technological capabilities, whereas soft, whereas soft skills are more focused around personality traits and how people interact within the environment around them. So during the hiring process, it is important to assess both soft and hard skills to ensure that the role is filled with the right person. And we have got a few sort of stats to back this up. So LinkedIn's Global Talent Trends 2019 actually reported that 92% of talent professionals believe that soft skills are equally or even more important to hire for than hard skills. And 89% said that when a new hire doesn't work out, it's because they tend to lack critical soft skills. So ultimately hiring someone with appropriate skills will ensure the candidate is set up to succeed and it will also lead to increased motivation, productivity to ensure, and, pro and productivity to ensure business goals are met. So leading on from the previous point, assessing candidates and ensuring the, can ensuring the candidate has the right skills for the position will, leave, will lead to long-term tenure. So if you assess candidates, it will mean that you have a deeper understanding of the candidate, how they work and their working preferences. A great example here is, com is communication. Um, so whether the candidate likes direct in communication or indirect communication or their management style, whether they prefer say micromanagement or a more hands-off approach. So ultimately hiring someone with the appropriate skills and cultural fit will deepen an organization's understanding of their workers and teams. So now we'll take you through a tour of the Talent App Store, which is again powered by our Sempire Marketplace. We'll show you how you can view your company's installed apps and browse our marketplace to view information or install additional apps. So we will be conducting the demo on our demo site, Demo Code today. And if you go up to the Apps tab at the very top, you can click into it. Just take a moment. The Apps tab is actually a permission. So if you, don't have, if you aren't able to see the Apps tab, it's most likely because you don't have that permission. If you scroll down, you're able to see all the apps that are installed on your site. So this could be job board apps, onboarding apps, uh, identity apps, and so on. And if you click into the App Store app at the very top, it will take you to the Talent App Store in just a moment. So here again, you can see all of your installed apps. Um, you can see your apply apps and your onboarding apps, your background checking apps that you have installed. And you're able to tell that it's installed by the little green strip that is below the logo. So if you go to the left, left hand side now, if you click on browse apps and all, you can see all of the apps that we currently have available and the um, organizations we partner with. It'll show you what apps are coming soon. And again, you can see what ones are installed versus not installed. So on the side, we also have a few options where you can sort of view different se sections of apps. So we're going to click on background checking apps today. And you can see that um, we've got a couple installed and we've got one app coming soon. But I'm going to click into check please because we don't have that one installed. So you'll be able to see um, on a description tab a little bit about the app and some pricing. Just note that all app, um, not all apps have pricing. You can also see screenshots and videos if they choose to show it. And also a, they provide a link to the URL if they wish as well. And also a link to some further documentation should, um, which is provided by them if you are interested in reading up a little bit more. You tend to have a lot of information. There's also a getting started tab. Um, so you can have a look and see how um, SnapHire, how to sort of integrate this app with your SnapHire system. And it has some tips at the bottom. It's got a green install button on the right hand side if you are interested in installing. When we click back on the My Apps tab, again, you can see all the apps that you've got installed. If we click into the Candidate Care app now, you can see on the right hand side that you can either uninstall or open should you wish as well. And it's got the same details with the description and getting started. So if we click back to the Talent App Store, it just takes you back to the home page. So that was a general tour of our marketplace, which you can tour yourself at any time. Um, again, if you do have any issues getting to the Apps tab or accessing the Talent App Store, then just give our client success team a call and they can help you through that. So now we have a few examples of some stages in the recruitment process where you could consider using various apps. The first stage where you may be interested in using apps is at the screening stage. 
So some clients choose to install apps at the pre-apply stage to assist with filtering through candidates in order to save valuable recruiter time. Or they alternatively choose to install initial skills-based assessments to review later on. A few examples here is that you could choose to assess candidates based on cultural fit, or you could provide the candidate with, say, a psychometric assessment, or you could provide some sort of basic testing to test the candidate's general knowledge, like numeracy or literacy. Fluent IQ is, a, is an example of an app that you could install if you're looking to assess a candidate's written comprehension or language testing, as they are an app focused around the English language. Weirdly is another app that can be installed at the pre-employment stage to assist with screening. Weirdly is a fun and interactive um, app that can be provided to candidates before they apply for a position, so it is a test. The test can be determined by recruiters, and if the candidate passes the test, they're able to apply for the position, and if they don't, then they are unable to. Weirdly could, for example, be focused around cultural fit into the organisation and predicts whether the applicant has the core attributes needed to be a part of the team. Another example here is that AOTEL's largest client, an Australian retailer, actually installed Weirdly and as a result saw a 35% drop in applications and this was ultimately their goal, so they wanted to lower the amount of candidates that apply to focus on better quality candidates. So since beginning to use Weirdly, it has saved recruiters valuable time as they're receiving lower volume yet higher quality candidates. Throughout this webinar, as I mentioned before, if there is an app that you are interested in learning more about, say Fluent IQ or Weirdly, feel free to jot the name down and browse the Talent App Store after the webinar. And if you do have any further questions, you can call our client success team. Another stage in the recruitment process where you could use apps is at the selection stage. So video interviewing is becoming more and more popular as the world moves towards automation and streamlined processes. Um, Spark Hire is an example of a videoing app we have partnered with. So organizations can create video interview questions that candidates can record responses to in their own time. Organizations are able to evaluate the completed interviews at any time and share interviews with other users to foster better communication and easier communication as well. Organisations who use Spark Hire are gaining more insight to candidates earlier in the hiring process and is actually enabling organisations to save time by eliminating unnecessary phone screens. An example here is a client of ours that is a large insurance company. They have been using Spark Hire for volume roles to replace phone screens and in turn, um, as I mentioned before, has saved, saved time and increased productivity. SparkHire could actually also be a key app that is used moving forward to assist with social distancing as a result of COVID-19. You could also use other apps in the selection process to assess skills more in depth or skills related to a specific position. So some apps that we have do have two-stage assessments um, to assess either hard or soft skills. For example, you may want to assess coding for uh, technical developers or office products for admin staff or like Word or Excel, or assess candidates on general customer service scenarios for customer service or call center roles. So ultimately, there's a range of um, screening and selection assessments to choose from. A third stage in the recruitment process where you may want to assess candidates is at the compliance stages, which relates to pre-employment checking. So this could be reference checks, uh, MOJ checks, police checks, or credit checks, for example. These apps could be especially useful during the COVID-19 pan pandemic in order to reduce the need for paper and physical contact and to make the online background checking process easier for both candidates and their recruiters. We do have a range of background, background checking apps, including CheckPlease, XREF and CVCheck, which you can see on the screen, that promote a paper, paperless and automated and sort of easy background checking process. So not only could these apps benefit companies during COVID-19, but they can definitely benefit companies long term as well. So XREF, for example, which is the app in the middle of the screen, is our most widely used app. And our clients do find it particularly helpful when recruitment volumes are high. For example, during the Christmas period, one of our largest retailers utilized XREF and it allows recruiters to add value through time and productivity rather than manual reference checking. 
So Danielle has taken us through various apps in our marketplace, which is great. Um, and now I'm going to give you a few ideas of how you will use Snap you can use SnapPyre system to assess your candidate. So this is um, this slide here is about SnapPyre functionality. So firstly, let's discuss the initial screening phase. Within SnapPyre, you can set up application questions that score your candidates based on how they respond. You can then rank your candidates and use this as a tool to evaluate who is best suited for a particular position. Scoring questions allow you to specify the number of points to add to the total application score if a correct answer is chosen, whereas some scoring questions allow you to specify for each individual answer option the number of points to be allocated to a total application score if that answer is chosen. You could also use our SoundBite application question to assess candidates. This is great for customer service roles and when setting up this question type, you can decide the question you want candidates to call and verbally answer and they can record their response. You can record your own verbal prompt to the, for the candidate to listen to prior to recording their answer. This can save time when phone screening candidates and you can use this question um, to reduce the amount of phone screens that you have to do because you've already had a preview. Once candidates have applied, you can refine the search and add in various columns into your bucket view as well as filter and sort them. This enables you to control the information presented to you which you are using to assess each individual. Phone screens, interviews and assessment, cent assessment centres are all also used to assess candidates. Scheduling these and recording their outcome can be included into your workflows within SnapPyre. Our standard interview setup enables you to attach iCal in invitations to your scheduling emails from SnapPyre, which the candidate or user can then add into their own um, calendars. Our appointment booker functionality can be used to set up appointment slots for phone screens, interviews and assessment centres and gives your candidate the choice of appointment times to choose from online that fits, fits in with their own schedule. We, can, we are able to set up outcome actions which enable you to record your assessments of the candidate within SnapPyre. This also applies for recording outcomes of reference checks or pre-employment checks. So this is thinking about um, any kind of paper-based forms that you might want to put online and record the responses in the system. Job seeker raisable actions can also be used um, to... Oh can also be used to enable candidates to provide information online, for example, referee details, so that you can capture these details at a later stage in the recruitment process, rather than front loading your application form with these questions. And lastly, evaluations can be included in your workflow processes. These enable you to assess and evaluate your candidates whilst you are processing them um, by summarizing certain skills or expertise you believe they have. These can be captured following a phone screen or interview, for example, and then you're able to use these evaluations in the future when proactively managing your talent pool. We hope you've found this information useful. So what do you um, do next? We suggest that you brainstorm some ideas and determine how you would like to assess your candidates using your SnapPyre system and the marketplace. We can work with you to tweak and improve your recruitment processes to incorporate different functionality to assess candidates. You could read our solution articles that can be found in our client portal, Freshdesk, if you're interested in expanding your knowledge of our technologies used to assess. And you could also request demonstrations from our third party vendors who provide assessment integrations in our marketplace. Here we have some details about our client success team. Um, should you need some advice of, or have any questions following this webinar, we have 15 um, consultants based in Auckland CBD who do configuration relationship management, report analysis and front end website development, as well as one relationship ma manager, Mel, based in Wellington. Um, and we're always able um, and happy to help you. Our Airtel Assist um, recruitment team provide candidate support via your careers website to any candidates who have technical difficulties throughout the application process. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope that this session has been valuable to you and has got you thinking about what you could be using. If you have any questions now, please feel free to chat them through and we will answer. Don't have any questions at this stage. Is anyone gonna send some through? No. 
Everyone's quiet today. Mm. No question is a silly question. <laughs> we have one there. Um, Kim, I found this short and sharp, so how can I get more details? Um, is there anything in particular, um, Kim, that you'd kind of like to expand on? Um, or any particular apps or anything that you've got further questions on that we can maybe try to expand on now? If you could type that through, that would be really helpful. I'll just wait to see if Kim pops something through. Yeah, so there's a lot of apps and there and some seem like they would be really useful. Look, absolutely. Um, and I guess what we want to stress as well is these are the ones that we just currently have that integration already built and obviously those ones that are coming soon. We are talking to quite a few um, more um, providers as well. And always, if there's anyone that you know you come across that you actually quite like yourself, that it's not in the town um, in the Snapper marketplace at present, um, just, just touch base with us. And we'll be able to let you know whether we have potentially had some conversations with them or we might be able to ignite some um, new conversations there as well. And um, so we do have a team as well that actually manage those um, partner relationships. So they're always, always wanting to kind of know about new ones um, in the market that our clients are interested in using as well. And um, on top of the ones that we're already outsourcing um, ourselves to. Um, so yeah, I guess the big, the, what we kind of stress is to um, go through what's currently there, have a look and um, see if there's anything that sparks your interest. And um, we've got such an amazing SnapHire community and a lot of our clients are more than happy to kind of talk to other clients. So for instance, if we've got a client that's already using an app and you just really want to get some real um, real info around kind of what it's actually like, you know, as, as from a user's end perspective, then absolutely our clients are super happy to kind of go and talk to other people and give their feedback. So we're more than happy to kind of try and um, coordinate that interaction as well. And um, so do let us know. I find that can be quite useful. Um, but otherwise, yeah, have a look if you have any other questions and um, further questions about apps. Um, there's obviously a level to what we can answer um, and otherwise we might just put you in contact with the app provider themselves who will obviously be able to give you more information around costing and, mm -hmm. and packages and stuff that they have as well. And it's said there isn't a lot of information there under the app in the Snapfire marketplace. Mm -hmm. And as you can see from the tour of the marketplace that, that we did today, they have provided quite a lot of information. So the information that is... Um, um, on showing in the Teller App Store is actually the information that the, that the partner has provided themselves. So they try to provide the most helpful information to you. Um, and there, as, as we mentioned as well, there is some um, information on how um, you can sort of get started with incorporating the app within your SnapPire system as well. So yeah, just take a read and if there is anything else you have questions about, then get in touch with us and we can either answer them ourselves or get you in touch with the right person. So I think Kim's just popped one, or it's a couple more in there. Mm. Um, so yeah, you're obviously based in Tauranga. Um, yeah, so absolutely just contact our client success team and they'll be able to um, support you just kind of with those questions around the apps. Um, and your other question was um, any idea of cost? So um, any apps that AATEL um, launch within the Snapchat marketplace are free. It's functionality that we're releasing for our clients. You will see um, that they are by AATEL. Um, any other apps that are um, by a third party, yes, there will be costs associated with and we don't manage that cost and as an example it would be basically like your relationship with seek so you've got your seek account set up and you've got obviously you pay seek and when we've got that integration already built within to snap fire so basically the apps would work similar as well so again that would just be a conversation in terms of cost with the app provider themselves and on the talent app store as well, some apps do choose like check please to display sort of a rough idea of costs, um, but not all of them choose to do that. Um, so if you just take a look um, and if they don't provide any idea of cost, as Mel said, just we, we can get you in touch with them and you can have that conversation directly with the partner. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Ter Teresa there has just put in a, a message to say she's found that um, cost is often based around how much to use. Um, or again, they might have some bespoke um, packages for certain organizations. Absolutely, Teresa, that what it is something we've kind of seen has been the case. So it's always good just to have that conversation with the app provider just to see, you know, what they can offer, I guess. Mm -hmm. you know, especially if there's a few and, and, and you know there's obviously a lot of psychometric assessment tools out there as well good to kind of obviously shop around sometimes and and get a feel for kind of what what is available to you oh um i just double check and see if we've got any other questions i don't think we do 
no, we've got none so far. So yeah, anything else you'd like to add in um, Danny's? <laughs> No, I think that was really good. Um, like Mel said, just get in touch with us. We can have a conversation. We can have a webinar like this about any of the apps and um, get you started with installing them and setting up um, the SnapPire piece. Um, so yeah, always here to help. But thank you all for joining today. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Yeah, we hope to see you at the next one. <laughs>